Welcome to Aiken State Park. I'm Ranger James. Today we're going to take a look at an artesian well located in our park. This is one of my more favorite features. I fill up my water bottle here during the summer months. The water is abundant and tasty. This water comes from an underground body of water called an aquifer. Now if you're thinking maybe like a stream or a lake underground, it's not quite like that. It's more like porous materials like rocks with holes in it, gravel or sand, that the water is able to travel through and it collects the water so that when we drill a well down into this aquifer, right, we have access to this water. At my house, I get water from a well, this well in particular. We have an electrical cable running to a pump at the bottom of the well. This pump pushes the water to the surface. The question is, if I need a pump to push the water to the surface of this well, why don't I need a pump with the artesian well? The simple answer to the question is pressure. The aquifer that supplies the artesian well is under pressure. Think of a juice pack under pressure. If we put a straw into this juice pack under pressure, or should we say if we drill a well into an aquifer under pressure, what happens? We have an artesian well, right? Now I'm going to be really sticky. An artesian well has an aquifer trapped between two layers of rock or clay and the water cannot travel between those two layers, so it effectively gets sandwiched between them and it creates pressure. That's called a confined aquifer. The well that supplies my house is an unconfined aquifer, like this glass of water. If I insert a straw into this glass or drill a well into an unconfined aquifer, what happens? Nothing. I gotta sip or I have to use a pump to get the water out. So how does this well continue to produce so much water? Almost a gallon a second. Think of the aquifer as the juice inside and the clay or rock above and below sealing it in and creating pressure on the aquifer. Remember, confined aquifer. But the sides are not actually sealed like in this juice pack. Instead, they're open and water can seep through the ground at a distance away from the aquifer and then travel somewhat horizontally to refill the aquifer or recharge it. And this way it can continue to flow and flow and flow. We are running out of daylight, so we have to hurry, but I wanted you to see where the artesian well water flows once it leaves the well. About 50 feet away, we actually come to the South Edisto River, which flows to join the North Edisto River and from there down to Edisto Beach and into the Atlantic Ocean. Now we do have a 1.7 mile canoe trail here on this river, so it's definitely a feature worth checking out.